Hey guys, I bet you're wondering why I'm wearing this big, ugly, wrinkly, baggy shirt that's definitely not my style. Well, I've covered myself in 15 different hidden blades that we're going to look at today. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. Alright, I gotta get some of these knives off of me because it's honestly a little bit uncomfortable, so let's just start with the easiest one. First off, hooked to my belt loop, I've got this foldable push dagger. So if we look at this, it's pretty sweet because it's a fixed blade knife to where when you push the button, it turns into a push dagger. I really like that. I also like how it's got this like crambit loop on the end that allows you to hold it with a nice grip. I really like that. Let's see, it also comes with this nylon sheath, but uh, I'm not going to take much time with any specific knife because I've got so many to go through, so let's just go on to the next one. All right, now in my pocket, I have the red katana handle bali song. And this is a really unique bali song. I actually like it because the handle looks just like the handle of a katana. So I actually like this a lot. Um, we've had it for a little while, but I've never shown it off on video, so I thought it'd be kind of a fun one to show. And um, I was debating on this video, do I want to put knives that I can actually leave in my pocket? And I figured the majority of everyday carry knives are just standard pocket knives. So why not show off a Bali song? So let's take a look at this guy. First off, it doesn't have the spring latch like we've seen on a lot of the Bali song, um, which in my opinion, I actually prefer the standard latch to the spring latch because it doesn't get in my way. So let's see, it's, I mean, this is gonna take a little while to gain some play on it. Um, I'd probably wanna adjust the screw a little bit, but this feels really nice. Um, it's got this like semi-curved but straight style to it. Uh, so it's not the CSGO styling that we've seen on a lot of our Bali song, but I actually, I'm not a huge fan of the CSGO style. I like the straight style of the Bali song, and this curved handle doesn't bother me at all. I actually like it, it feels comfortable. Um, I think this is a really good knife. So a couple of specifics about it. It's got that Tonto blade on it, which I, I'm really digging. I like the Tonto blade. Not much else to tell you about. I guess the thing I don't like about it is it uses screws instead of rivets. I prefer rivets on my Bali song, which most people prefer screws because they can take it out. They can change over to a trainer blade, but um, and and also they can adjust the play on their knife. But uh, I personally prefer rivets. I just always have. Um, but that's just a matter of preference. So let's go ahead and put this away and uh, look at what else I got. All right. So the next thing I have in my pocket is on my key ring. I've got the push dagger keychain. And I actually really like this guy. I've shown it off in a video before, but I really like it because of how sturdy and durable it is and how small it is. This whole thing is only three inches long and it's got a blade that is only about an inch and a quarter. So a really small blade. It's comfortable in my hand. It's got a rubberized grip on it. Let's see, it's a black high carbon steel blade. Um, so that's pretty nice. It's gonna be easy to sharpen. Yes, sheath and then a key ring. And that key ring was really easy to get onto my, onto my keychain. And what I like about it also is because, I'll just bring this a little bit closer for you, but because it's kind of the snap style key ring, you could just hook that onto your, your belt loop or you know hook it onto the side of your body if you wanted. Um, super small, super convenient. I actually really like this thing. I think it's, it's awesome, small and portable. And it only weighs about an ounce, so really light. Um, not much else to tell you about. I mean, if we look at the blade, it's got that you know serrated on the one edge. Um, very sharp, extremely sharp. Um, so actually a really cool little knife. I like that a lot. All right, let's move on to something else. All right, and the last pocket knife I have is over here, and this is the Black Death folding knife. So if we look at it, I just wanted to show this one off because I thought it was such a unique design. I mean, it's got so much detail to it. I think that is so cool. Um, and actually, it flips open so nice, like that spring-assisted flip, that's just so nice. Um, it feels comfortable. I mean, this is, this is an extremely inexpensive knife. Um, it's not like a, 
super high quality knife. It's just a standard pocket knife that you'd want to carry, but it feels comfortable. It actually, it flicks just perfectly. It's also got this bottle opener on the end. I can't tell you how many times I've needed a bottle opener and didn't have one. So there's one thing I should probably say is that all of these knives, you've got to check your local laws before carrying any knives because different places have different laws as far as where things can be concealed, the blade length of a knife. Like there's certain states where you can only have like a two inch blade on a knife. Um, the type of knife it is. There's just different laws that you need to look up before even considering carrying a knife of any sort. Um, but anyway, this one, uh, I actually like this. I think it's pretty awesome for a really inexpensive knife. Um, looks cool, really cool knife. But let's move on to some other knives. All right, so next in my back pocket, I've got my wallet. So in my wallet, I have my credit card knife. Now these guys, I showed them off in a, another hidden weapon video a while back. Um, a lot of people don't like them because they say that they're way too slow to put together if you ever needed one in a self-defense type situation. Completely agree, I can't tell you how much I agree to that statement. This is gonna be way too slow, but Let's say you were, um, I don't know, let's, let's say you needed a utility knife one day. That would work great for you, a utility knife, or if you were in a situation where you had enough time to get a knife out. But let's, let's just look at this really quick, how easily this, this transforms into a knife. And all we do is we just kind of fold in the one side, take this thing, this thing off to unlock the blade, fold in the other side, and then the blade comes out. And there we go. It's actually pretty solid in the end. Um, comfortable, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how comfortable that is. In fact, I'd be worried about my hands sliding up a little bit and because this blade is actually really sharp. Um, so for a self-defense knife, I don't think this would be my favorite to use, um, but for something that would come in handy for a utility purpose, I think they're pretty sweet for a really cheap thing that you keep in your in your wallet. Um, stating that, I just want to mention when I showed these before, I had a bunch of people comment on the YouTube channel. Can I bring these through the airport? Is this something that the TSA is going to be upset with me about? Absolutely, they are. Don't even consider bringing something like this on an airplane. That's just asking for trouble. So I'm just going to state that. But it is a pretty cool knife, so just don't don't forget to take it out of your out of your wallet if you ever go to an airport. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right, next one. I've got over here. I've got the concealed hip knife. So if we look at this, it's just on the side of my hip. Now, of all the knives I'm showing off today, this one's probably my least favorite as far as concealability because. Like in the intro, you probably noticed this knife before anything else because it's like right here, the straps right there. If I had black pants, maybe it would you know, not be so obvious, but I mean, that's fairly obvious. But what's nice about that hip, hip type strap is how easily you can pull that out and you don't have to worry about the sheath going anywhere. So that's pretty nice. It's got the rubberized grip on it. I mean, I really like that. It's got the double serration on each side. I like that. Both sides are extremely sharp. The tip sharp, uh, it's a 440 stainless steel blade um, and it's got a nylon sheath. So really not much else to tell you about that. All right, next one, this one's kind of neat. Okay, so on the back, I've got this guy right here. And this is the Covert Push Daggers. So if we look at this, we've got two little push daggers that came out back there. And I actually love these guys. They're Super comfortable. They've got these big rubberized grip handles on them. Um, and the blades are pretty beefy. Like they're pretty strong, they're pretty big, very sharp. I actually, I actually really like these. I think these are awesome. And then the fact that you could have them on the front of your belt, you could have them on your back of your belt, um, really easy to conceal. I love push daggers in general. I think they're just an awesome weapon. There's not really anything else to tell you about those. So, all right, let's go on to the next. All right, since we're done with everything that's hooked onto my belt now, we might as well go into the hidden belt knife. 
Now I've shown this off in other videos, so I'm not gonna go into much detail on it. But what I love about it is we've got this kind of pack of wood handle right here that just pulls out and you've got a really nice knife. So as far as concealability goes, this hidden knife is just perfect. I mean, it looks like a belt. Um, it's comfortable. It's got a one size fits most uh, belt on it. Um, and you just pull it out and you've got yourself a knife. So I actually really like that. I think it's pretty neat. Um, it's probably, in all honesty, my favorite hidden weapon that we carry. I just really, really like it. Um, but again, you're gonna wanna check your local laws because hidden weapons like these can be illegal in a lot of areas. So just check your local laws. All right, so let's move on to the next. The next one I've got for you, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and I've got these concealed mini throwing knives under here. And I love these things. They're just tiny little throwing knives that hook onto your wrist and they're just so concealed and so convenient. If you ever needed them, yank one out and throw it. Um, now, I don't know if you watched my video from a couple weeks ago where I showed you my favorite way to throw throwing knives, um, but I really prefer larger, heavier throwing knives than this. But when you're learning how to throw knives, it's fun to try all different types, all different sizes. Uh, small ones like this are a little more dangerous because they tend to bounce off of your target and kind of bounce back at you. So you have to be really careful with them. But I think it's fun to learn even small ones like this. I bet you could throw them pretty well. Um, I don't know if you'd use the method that I typically like to use, which is the military half spin. Um, you could probably try a no spin method with these. Uh, actually, I'd probably want to get as much momentum as possible, so maybe a full spin method. I'm not sure. You'd have to try different methods and just see what works best for you. Uh, but I think these would be so much fun to learn how to throw. Um, I haven't tried them personally, but I'd have a blast trying them. So uh, let's see. They are made out of a blackened stainless steel, and uh, they just look cool. I just love how concealed and stealth they are. I think that's awesome. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this off. I'm going to try to get rid of some of these knives on me because it's, it's really uncomfortable. All right, let's go on to the next. All right, on this wrist, I have the Triple Edge Ninja Spike. Now, I actually really like this thing. It's, uh, it's basically just a long spike, and it's like just a solid piece of, of stainless steel, and I just love that. I think it's so solid, such a cool blade. If we just look at that, and that's just just awesome. Um, let's see, it's about 3.5 ounces. It's got this nylon sheath with it. Uh, the, the knife itself is approximately seven inches. Just really cool. I actually really like that a lot. Um, you could probably throw this. I'm gonna guess that if you were to throw this, you would probably throw it like a throwing spike um, and not like a throwing knife, which uh, if you, uh, let's see, the video I did where I showed you how to make a hidden marker spike, um, I kind of teach you how to throw throwing spikes. So if you want to go back and watch that video, uh, it's kind of cool, but uh, I actually super like this thing. I think it's really awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off my wrist too. And let's move on to the next thing, which next I've got two neck knives. I've got them both underneath my shirt. So instead of pulling them out like that, I'm just gonna take them off. So I brought two different styles of them purposely. All right, and there's a, there's a reason I chose two different styles. So the first one we're gonna look at is the Eagle Claw neck knife. So we look at this, there's a couple of things that are kind of cool about it. It's got the Kydex sheath, which is pretty nice. And it's got this little hole in the blade that makes it really comfortable. And when I first saw it, I was like, well, how, how would you hold this? Would you, would you kind of hold it like a karambit? And if we look at this, like it's got this little grip, grip area there, which tells me that you would probably hold it like this, but it's actually really comfortable to hold both ways. You could hold it, you know, like you'd hold a karambit or like a, just a standard straight blade, fixed blade knife. Um, so really cool. I like neck knives because, you know, they're just hidden underneath there and you pull them out. Um, I wanted to show two different types of neck knives though, because 
This style, about half of the neck knives we carry come with this type of chain. And this is what's considered to be a breakaway chain. Now there's advantages and disadvantages to having a breakaway chain. As you can tell here, I've got paracord on this one, and a lot of people you know, would prefer paracord to the breakaway chain, so there are a number of people who take off the chain and will replace it with paracord. Totally your option. The advantage to the breakaway chain is obviously if you did get attacked and someone tried to use a paracord to actually strangle you, a breakaway chain will just break right off. So that's, that's a definite advantage. Um, the disadvantage to a breakaway chain is if you're getting attacked and you've got that around your neck and you pull it too hard, the breakaway chain could pull off and then you've got a knife sitting in its sheath instead of a knife that's unsheathed and ready to go. So that's definitely the disadvantage to a breakaway chain. Um, but let's go ahead and look at this guy, which this is a stonewashed tactical karambit. Now I really like this. We had another one that I showed in a video um, that was kind of similar, but what I really like about this specific neck knife is how thin it is. I really like that. Like I'm a huge believer that if you're gonna get a neck knife, you get one that's as thin as possible. And we carry a bunch of different styles. We carry ones that are more bulky, but I definitely prefer the thinner ones because they just kind of conceal easier. So um, there's some things I really like about it. Uh, for one, it's really comfortable to do, to do your different techniques with. A lot of karambits have these little like grip areas right here. You'll see them, like now that I've mentioned it, if you look at Krambits, you're gonna see a lot of them have that little area right there. But when you're using them for your different flips and things, that little area tends to just kind of scrape up your knuckles. So I prefer a Krambit that's got a nice smooth edge here. It just makes it so much easier, so much more comfortable when you're doing your techniques. This is one that I would personally carry. Um, it looks cool uh, and it's sharp. It's actually, super sharp. I don't know if you can see that tip right there, but I mean that thing is super sharp. Um, and the blade itself is sharp. It's got the stone wash finish um, and it's got the paracord, nylon cord. Uh, you could always, you know, buy a breakaway chain to add to it, but this one specifically comes with the paracord nylon cord. Um, and it's got a black ABS plastic sheath, which is pretty nice. Um, really actually a really good neck knife to have. So let's take that off and move on to something else. All right, so I think I've gotten everything off of my upper body area, which is good. Now I'm a little more comfortable. So let's go down to the leg area. So the first thing I have here is the concealed boot knife. And I don't, I'm not a big boot guy. You know, my brother's from Texas and he wears these cowboy boots all the time. I always wear like the same shirts, the same pants, same shoes, but uh, I hooked in the boot knife into my shoe just so you could see how they kind of attach. And this specific boot knife, let's just take a look at it. This is the concealed boot knife. And it's not your standard boot knife. It looks a little bit different from your standard boot knife. But what I like about it is it could so easily be used as a throwing knife. Like it's, uh, it's just a unique looking blade it's got that big loop on the end. It'd be fairly comfortable. I don't, I don't know if for knife strikes it, it, it could work pretty well, but I would honestly think that this would be better as like a throwing knife type of thing. Um, but very cool. I, I like the unique styling of it. I think it's pretty neat. So, I don't know. Let's go on to uh, the other boot knife I have. All right, so in this shoe, I've got the tactical boot knife. Now this is more of just a standard traditional boot knife. What I like about it, actually I should show you that first. So when it is in your boot, it's got this little tab here that makes it really easy to just pop that off and then pull out the knife. It's got this thermoplastic rubberized handle, which is really comfortable, really durable, really strong. Um, I actually really like this thing. The blade is extremely sharp. Uh, it's a double-edged blade with a total length of nine inches. Um, so that is a tactical boot knife. And let's go on to our last item. So around my calf, I have this set right here. And this is the kunai throwing knife set. So this is nine kunai throwing knives, 
all hooked around my shin. And let's just take a look at this. So these are small. These are only approximately 6.25 inches long. Um, they're just tiny kunai knives. But again, it's kind of like the ones that were on my wrist. I like knives like this. I mean, they're not the safest to play with. They're not the easiest to stick, but I like to learn all types of knives. Let's just take a closer look. This is, uh, they are stainless steel. They're approximately one ounce each, which is a little light, but I think I could stick these things. Um, they come with the carrying case that I just showed you, which has the straps that hook around your leg. You could also hook those around your arm. Um, pretty comfortable. Uh, some of the things I like and don't like about this, uh, first off, it's got this nylon cord around the handle, which is really nice as far as decoration goes, but anyone who's thrown a lot of knives knows that these little nylon cords tend to come off over time, which is okay. I mean, uh, you can still throw them once uh, the cord is gone. It's just the weight all of a sudden becomes a little bit different. So you get used to, you know, throwing them like this and then all of a sudden the little cord comes off and, you know, then you've got to kind of adjust your throw a little bit. Um, so that's something you need to be aware of if you're buying throwing knives. Just pay attention to does it have the little nylon cord around it or not. Um, but I think these would be a lot of fun to throw. The blade itself, ooh, that's really sharp. That's really sharp. Yeah, I like that. Um, so overall, these are, these are pretty sweet throwing knives. Um, but I think that's all of the knives that I have for you. And I feel so much more comfortable now that I've gotten all those things off my body. Uh, but if you have any questions on any of the items I showed off in this video, definitely leave them in the comments below. Uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. But until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday.